Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. A month ago I had my birthday and I was given some money and I wanted, I've always wanted to get myself one of these tongue and groove rotor bit sets. So on Amazon, I went ahead and I purchased the Freud or Frude, I don't know how you pronounce their name, but I bought their tongue and groove rotor bit set. Now this set is really nice because you can adjust it for different widths of your panels and the groove and tongue size by adding different size washers to it. So right out of the box, this bit set wasn't set up quite right and I had to play around with it by adding a few shims to the bits. And I managed to get it pretty good. I'm really happy with it. Uh, let me get close up here. It's a nice fit. It's not too loose, not too tight. There's no play in there. And I think there's plenty of room for glue. I will never be making these on a table saw again. So for this video, I thought I would show you guys my experiment at making a shaker style door using my new bit set. So let's get to it. So this tongue and groove rotor bit set comes as a pair. This is the groove, sorry, no. This is the tongue bit right here and this is the groove bit. And I'm gonna start by cutting all my grooves with this bit here. Well, I'm gonna start by lowering this bit to cut a groove about where I want it. And I think I'm gonna go a little bit less than halfway. All right, I think that's pretty good. Next, I'm gonna bring my fence up so that that bearing is just touching my straight edge. And I'm also going to install a feather board to keep pressure against the fence. Okay, let's cut all our grooves. Okay, before we continue, I have to mention something. These are called styles, and these are the rails. We're only gonna cut tongues into the rails on each end. Then we need to apply our tongue bit. Also, when handling these things, be very careful because they're extremely sharp. Now just lower your bit until it matches up. And just like the groove bit, we're gonna bring the fence up until the straight edge is just touching that bearing. To cut the tongue, we're gonna use a block against a fence. This is a sacrificial block. This is gonna avoid, it's gonna do two things. It's gonna help avoid tear out on this as it exits the bit. And it's also gonna add some extra support to help us keep this square as we feed it through. Now that we have all the tongue and grooves cut and it's together and it fits well, everything's nice and flush and it's not falling apart just by holding it in my hand, so it's a nice snug fit. All we have to do now is cut the panel to fit. Now the best way to do that is I'm gonna take it apart. Just take the one end off. For your length of your panel, just measure. I have 13 and 7 eighths. And I'm gonna cut my panel to 13 and 3 quarters. And that's gonna leave some room for expansion of the panel. For the width of the panel, just take your measurement there, and that's eight and three eighths. So I'm gonna cut that to eight and a quarter, and that's gonna be the width of my panel. Let's go to the table saw, and we'll get that cut. All that's left is to assemble it. This is the fun part. Okay, we'll let that sit overnight and we'll give it a sand in the morning. So that was pretty easy. I honestly, I made this door in probably 20 minutes or less. It did not take any time at all. I am completely thrilled about how fast you can whip out doors with this rotor bit set. It's gonna be a game changer for me. Here, let's just get a close up shot here. See if it's gonna focus. Oh yeah, look at that. 
It's awesome. So that is it for this video, guys. If you're new to my channel, I encourage you to subscribe. Please hit that notification bell as well so you don't miss when I upload a new video. And like always, we'll see you in the next one.